India has been constantly working towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals, also known as SDGs. And one of the pillars towards achieving that goal has been electrification of railways. Hello everyone, I am Avantika Kansal and you are watching New India Junction. So let's look at the data that we have today and let's understand what is green railways and how 93% uh, of Indian railways tracks have been electrified. So let's understand, let's look at this data. Till 2014, approximately 21,801 kilometer of railway tracks were electrified, which is now in 2023, this is an additional 38,650 kilometers of tracks which have been electrified, which in itself is a 77.2% increase and which has led to 93% of Indian railway tracks being electrified by 2023. Now let's understand rather Let's see how it has panned out across India in various states and union territories. Before that, let's uh, have a look here. So while 93% uh, of the railway tracks have been electrified, uh, this number was a mere 33.6% in 2014-15. So uh, if we see the map, we can clearly understand that uh, more than 10 uh, states and union territories have seen 100% electrification. To name with JNK, then Himachal, Chandigarh, Uttarakhand, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Orissa, Telangana, Madhya Pradesh, and Meghalaya. So, and also Puducherry. So, these have seen 100% uh, electrification uh, in their respective states of or union territories, which has taken the total figure also to 93%. But what we need to understand here is that what are those steps which have been taken by the Indian Railways to achieve such a phenomenal figure. So, first has been creation of Gati Shakti Directorate, so which is for speedy approval of projects and ensuring effective project monitoring mechanism, the Gati Shakti Directorate. Then prioritization of projects have been done, also substantial increase in allocation of funds. And not only this, but also delegation of power at the field level. So when we talk about allocation of funds, what is most important here is that allo allocation of funds for electrification projects has been steadily increasing and in the recently announced budget, highest ever allocation of Rs. 8,050 crore has been made for railway electrification projects during 2023-24. So this financial year, if we talk about the budget of uh, uh, for only uh, electrification of Indian railways, it is 8,050 crore. So clearly the electrification has helped to reduce dependency on imported crude oil and also save foreign exchange. But not only this, this has also increased the average speed of trains and pollution has been drastically reduced due to the electrification of Indian railways. So that is it for today's video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to New India Junction. This is Avantika Kansal signing off. Until next time.